I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter for the Los Angeles Times, and this in my hands here is the BlackBerry Bold 9900. This is the first 4G BlackBerry for T-Mobile, and you know what? It's one of the nicest BlackBerry phones that I've ever used. It has a nice wide keyboard, which I appreciate. Normally my hands feel a little bit big when I'm typing on other Blackberries, but this one is a joy to use. It's one of the first BlackBerry smartphones to run on BlackBerry OS 7, which makes great use of this 2.8 inch touchscreen here. It's really easy and really simple, pretty intuitive, to switch between apps, launch apps, and just kind of navigate between what the BlackBerry phone does. That being said, there still aren't a ton of apps in BlackBerry app world. There's also a lot of other great features about this new BlackBerry Bold. It has a 5 megapixel camera. It can shoot up to 720p video. It's less than half an inch thick. It's about 0.41 of an inch thick. It's really thin. It's really light. It looks really great. It's a great phone, but you know what? BlackBerry OS 7, it's soon going to be replaced by QNX, RIM's new operating system that's running on the BlackBerry Playbook tablet. Now QNX is actually not only going to run BlackBerry apps, but QNX is also supposed to run Android apps. So that might actually solve their app deficiency problem, but that means that BlackBerry OS 7 is technically already an outdated operating system. Another problem that I have with this otherwise fantastic BlackBerry is the fact that this model costs $300. $299.99 with a two-year data plan after a $50 mail-in rebate. That's a lot of money for any smartphone. Now if you're on Sprint or Verizon, you're not going to get a 4G version of the Bold, but what you'll get is the 9930, a 3G version of the Bold, which sells for $250 with a two-year data plan rather than $300. But again, $300, $250 for a smartphone with an operating system that's on its way out. You know what? I'm looking forward to seeing what RIM has in store with their QNX phones. I guess we'll just have to wait and see.